everyone, my name is Sabrina Melodious. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, it is yarn haul galore. Yes, that is true. I have been doing a lot of yarn shopping in the last few months. And admittedly, there are well over 10 yarn hauls. But I can only show you five because the others include commissions, so I, I have bought yarn to uh, make certain commissions and certain uh, gifts. So if I was to show any of those yarns, then it would just, you know, spoil everything for my customers and the beautiful people I am doing items for. So I decided I better not show you those. Although admittedly, those were the very big yarn hauls. Yeah, there were huge bags of yarns that I just had to get. But in today's video, I am more than happy to show you five of those. I know it sounds like a lot, but it shouldn't take too long for each bag. So one is here. This is from a local uh, store, and uh, I've got two packages here, and I've got another two packages from Hobby. Oh, Hobby, Hobby, Hobby! I don't know. Here's one, and I know this is a big pack, but honestly, this one should only take two minutes at the most. And then we have this one, which well, this one will take a while. And this one is very special, so I will tell you why in a moment. Ingrid? <laughs> yes, Ingrid, Ingrid. Okay, so um, there will be a lot of yarn to talk about and uh, different things as well. So before we go any further, let's remind ourselves that the Christmas in July fairies are going on at the moment. So if I remember, I will put the link to the uh, playlist of all the fairies that are taking part. And guess what guys, I am one of them. So feel free to check out each uh, video that is in the uh, description box below in a special playlist. Hi Dana, if you are watching, of course, hello, and um, yes, it's been difficult today to make video because <laughs> I don't know what it is, just across the road from me, they are building houses, they have been doing that for quite some time. And every day, all you hear is a boom, 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 boom. I think in the uh, Christmas in July fairy video, if you put the sound loud enough, you might be able to pick up on the boom, 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 boom sound. You know, it's really frustrating. But then after that, this morning, some people decided uh, to have a fantastic argument. And if it wasn't the a banging from people building, some others decided it was time to do some gardening. So then it was a case of zzzz and then whatever. <laughs> it's been a noisy place today. And, um, but it seems to have gone quiet for now. So <laughs> I'm not waiting too long. Uh, just in case they're going to all be back for their noises. There's going to be a boom, 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 or da -da -da, yeah, 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 or zzzz. Let's just do this, shall we? Shall we start with our wonderful bags of wonderfulness? Yes, we have five bags to show you. Hobby, hobby, or hobby, I don't know how you would pronounce it. I need to find out how do you pronounce that name exactly. Is it hobby or hobby or I don't know. I could be saying it completely differently to what it is supposed to. And I think a lot of us are struggling with that name. So I got two bags of those, and uh, one of them has got a very specific reason. And then I've got three more bags. Another one has a very specific reason. 
So I don't really know which one to start with. Which one do I start with? I've got wool warehouse. I've got another uh, yarn haul. I don't even remember where it's from. I think it was, uh, oh, it was someone uh, local to me who uh, got me this yarn. And it was at a super cheap price, but I loved it so much. And I said, can I take this off your hand? She said, yes, of course. So I got it and it, it is a ray of sunshine. I got to warn you, it is. And, and I've got a fantastic idea for it too. And I'm just buzzing with excitement. I've got one uh, bag here of yarn that I have for a specific uh, tutorial that I'm going to start recording either tomorrow or the next day. And uh, it will be a crochet tutorial, so I hope you will um, enjoy it. <laughs> and so, yes, uh, without having to continue to procrastinate, shall we open the first bag? But which first bag should I go with? I don't know whether I want to start with Wool Warehouse or one of the hobby bags. And I decided to go ahead and open with you the wonderful uh, wool warehouse bag. It's not a very big one. It is just this size and uh, there isn't a lot in there, like that. So uh, let's show you what's inside. It is truly very exciting. Well, for me it is anyway. It might not be anything special for you, but for me it kind of is. Because, you know, let's face it, yarn is special, isn't it? Right, okay. So, this is my bag of goodies. Yes, 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 yes. I feel I have to uh, bring a bag that I got quite a while ago to complement this one. So this one is a wool warehouse, but uh, before this yarn haul, I actually did a yarn haul in a hobby craft, which is some store that normally I wouldn't really think about going in because the prices are way too high. But uh, when I saw what was on the website, because I went online shopping this time, there's something I couldn't resist. So I think I will bring it out. Yes, I will. I'll be right back. Okay, so we have the wool warehouse bag and we've got hobby craft. And admittedly, hobby craft, I went on the website to uh, get one item, which I think was just under three pounds, or is it two pounds 75 or three pounds, something like that. And I can't really show you what it is. Uh, you, you can have a glimpse at, at, of it. But it is part of one of the gifts I am making. So I can't fully show you what it is. But that from that one item, I got a lot more. So I want to show you this is the bag from Hobby Craft. Uh, let's see if I can show you without showing my address. Okay, this is Hobby Craft bag, see? Hobby Craft, and it is quite a nice size. Hobby Craft, yes, <laughs> I was very pleased. And uh, you won't know what it is just looking at it. You'll be thinking, huh, what is that? Okay, that's the point because I don't want you to know what it is. Otherwise, if the person is watching, uh, who this item is intended for, then the surprise will be killed. That's what I went in there for. This. Just that. <laughs> That's it. And I came out of the uh, online shopping experiment uh, experience with that much. Okay, so uh, I will show you, but it will not take very long because it's a lot of one item. What is the lot of one item? I just couldn't resist it, honestly, because it's not in our local stores anywhere. So when you see something like that, you just have to 
get at it. And I think uh, when I went uh, online shopping that time, I got what was left of that color. I wanted more, but I got what was left. So, okay, so I have eight beautiful skins, beautiful skins of Karen Simply Soft. Yes, Karen Simply Soft. I have used it before and it is beautiful, but I have never used that color before. So there were eight skins on offer and I thought, well, let's break the bank and let's get them all because they're very expensive over here. So I got them all, all eight and I was so happy. Yes, look at that. And the, I will show you. So uh, I got the color called lipstick. Yes, it's called lipstick. And it just is divine. It's very soft, as you know, because it's Karen Simply Soft. And so each skin over here is 141 grams or five ounces. And it is a number four weight yarn. Uh, I would say it's like a thin four weight for us. It's like a thin iron and 100% uh, acrylic. What else do we have? 235 yards or 215 meters. And I just love them so much. So I will show you my packs. This is how they came. I've got three packs. I've got two packs of three and one pack with just the two because there were eight. So here's one. And then here's the second. And here's the third. So shall we look at my beautiful uh, yarn? Oh my gosh. I'm hoping to make something like a blanket for myself because eight is really wonderful. And uh, this is it. Karen Simply Soft. And I know they have a suggestion of a blanket here, but it's not the one I'm going to use. Oh no. But this is amazing. But wait for it, because Wool Warehouse, uh, <laughs> I accidentally bought two skins of the same thing. So I uh, will show you that in just a second. And onto my beautiful wool warehouse. Yes, yes, yes. There we are. So, um, as you know now, I have two extra skins of, and it is still sealed, <laughs> of the lipstick. So I will show you that first, you know, why not? So now, this is very interesting, because from having eight skins of that beautifulness, I now have ten. So I am beyond excited, yes. There we are. And uh, actually, uh, the pattern suggesting is, is exactly the same as the other skins. So I have 10 of those beautiful lipstick. Ironically, I don't wear lipstick. Maybe I should, just for the lipstick. <laughs> These have more colors than my lips. Do they not? <laughs> okay, and I got two skins of something else, which is very, very exciting. And I am planning to make a cowl and a hat set. I think I will have enough. And it is, or maybe not, maybe just a huge cowl. It is a life iron. Oh, you know what I will do? I will make a, a cowl and a headband set. That I will definitely have enough. So it is life iron by Stylecraft. And the color is gorgeous. It is called rose. Yes, and it is like a rose like a pink rose, not like a red rose, but it is a beautiful uh, pink 
and I will show you now what other specifications on there. 75% premium acrylic and 25% wool. And you can feel the wool in that one, but it is not overpowering. And what else? 198 meters or 217 yards. And uh, that's it. Okay, so here is the uh, yard. You know, the colors are not showing like they should really. I mean, it's pretty close, but it should be a little bit darker. -da 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 -da. It is terrible when the cameras don't do what you want them to. But I think because, you know, the sky is affecting the light and the light directly above the camera as well. And I am doing my best, but this is how it looks. Except that it is a little bit darker. Yes. But it's beautiful. I love it. And on my skin, it feels okay. It doesn't feel scratchy or anything. So I'm very happy when my beautiful hobby craft and uh, a wool warehouse a hole. <laughs> I do have specific items that I want to make out of them though. There we are. Shall we go on to... Uh, what shall we go on to now? I decided to go with my boys a shopping expedition. So in there I got five little balls of yarn which i will show you but only two different colors and i've got these for very specific reasons and i just know that i will not be using all of these beautiful yarns because the items are not going to be that uh, this item i'm designing this one for the particular tutorial is not going to be that big. So with the rest of the yarn, I have something else that I want to make and I will share that with you in due course. So <laughs> this yarn I'm buying, I have, I'm showing you, I've already bought it, is <laughs> intended for a very specific tutorial, which I will start to record either tomorrow or the next day. But these yarns are beautiful, and uh, with this tutorial, of course, I will discuss that later. You can use any yarn that you want, and uh, for my prototypes, and there's still one in the, like a work in progress, if you like, there are acrylic yarns, 100% acrylic yarn, but you can use anything you want, and, and just to show that, you can use any yarn you want. For this particular tutorial, I'm going to use some bamboo and cotton uh, blended yarn. Yes, so these are the yarns I've, I've chosen. I have got three of those. Oh, there we are. Oh my goodness. There. And I have got two of this one. So, I don't know if you can see the difference in colors. Yeah, the colors should be darker. It is frustrating, it truly is, because I really wish I could show you how the yarns are exactly. Maybe if I zoom in, I don't know if that will help. Will that help? Apart from seeing me gigantic. Let's see. Oh, uh, no, not really. Huh? Okay, that's a little bit better, but not ideal. Um, okay, no, I'm just dropping it all now. Okay, so these are the yarns I have chosen, and they are Starcraft Naturals Bamboo and Cotton Blend. So this particular color, I think is called coral. Yes, it's called coral. 
And uh, what you want me to tell you for this one? You want the specifications? Okay, yes, I can give you that. It is 290 meters or 273 yards, 60% uh, bamboo and 40% cotton. What else? It's a DK weight. And uh, okay, that's it. Oh, and they are 100 grams each. So, and the other color, what is it called? Pale pink. So I've got coral and I've got pale pink. And I think the colors go nicely together. I do hope that the colors will show better during uh, the tutorial. So I've got five in total but I definitely won't need uh, you know anywhere near that much for this specific tutorial and pretty much sure that I will use less than one each. So it, I think it is exciting and I hope you will enjoy this tutorial and have fun with it. Okay, the next bag is this little pouch. But in this little pouch, there's a lot of beautiful goodies. And uh, I am really, really super excited about this one. How excited am I? It's ridiculous. Shall we get it out and show you? Honestly, when I saw it, it was a ray of sunshine. And I'm hoping that you will agree with me. So uh, here it is. I don't actually know how much there is in there. My guess is 10 skins, but I am not sure. I will have to take a look in a moment because I have not uh, uh, opened the pack yet or felt the yarn or looked at anything. I just was waiting to uh, uh, do this video to uh, do this with you. So, shall we see what it is? Okay, it is this bag of beautifulness. Look at this. It is showing paler than it's supposed to be. But, honestly, this is a sunshine. A sunshine. Yes. Beautiful yellow gold uh, yarn. It's just right there. <laughs> I want to do something that reflects on sunshine, maybe sand, maybe something to do with Egypt, or just the sunshine in general. But this is intended for this purpose. So shall we look at the yarn more closely? I know there's one skin that doesn't match the whole set. I don't know why that is. You see that one here? This is green. But the rest is yellow. I don't know why that is. But oh well, I will open this uh, off camera because crinkles. There it is! <laughs> oh, this is truly a ray of sunshine. Yes. Isn't it beautiful? All this yellowness. And I hope it comes across like it's supposed to. Because it truly is a vibrant yellow. Oh, does it help to be a, on a black background, I wonder? I don't know. But this is a beautiful, beautiful yellow. Okay, so I have 10 skins of this beautiful yellow. And I will give you all the specifications in a minute. And we have one cream. I don't quite understand why there were 10 of those and one of those. I have absolutely no idea, but I'm not complaining because with that I can do something small like a headband perhaps. And, uh, and the rest really, I really want this to reflect on sunshine or 
something to do with sand, Egypt maybe, or uh, something like that, uh, we will find something definitely. And so now let's look at the specification. And this is this is sheep his wool. Yeah. Okay, so or is it okay? Sheep his wool. Okay. And it is cotton satin. I didn't know that. I just uh, discovered that cotton satin. Wow, it does feel very much like there is some satin in there. So let's uh, find out the specs. So each skin is 50 grams or 100 meters in each skin. And according to that, it is 100% cotton. Yes. Uh, what else can I tell you? You, um, I don't know. It doesn't tell you the name of the colors. It's made in Holland. And so there is one cream and 10 yellows, or I don't really know how to uh, describe that yellow, but it is like a sunflower kind of yellow. It's just sunshine beautiful and I think it is like a DK it doesn't say but it feels very much like a DK so I have 500 grams of a yellow and 50 grams of uh, cream <laughs> I am very very um, uh, confused and uh, curious why there is just one of those and ten of those but never mind uh, I'm happy this is my sunshine uh, uh, my ray of sunshine I've been looking at this yarn every day for quite a few weeks now because I bought that weeks ago and during difficult times, I look at it and it never fails to bring a smile to my face. And that is why I want to make something extra special with it. And now we're on to the first bag of a hobby. And the, this will not take long because I got a lot of one thing. <laughs> It is a big bag, and of course, I have my uh, wonderful, uh, uh, what is it called, like an invoice type thing. And I already ate my beautiful candy, of course, and I have some wonderful stitch marks. Stitch markers. Stitch markers. Why did I say stitch marks? I don't know. But the stitch markers, that are uh, like that. Yes. One is a llama, one is like a cup of coffee, and then the next one is just one more row, and the other one's like a, I don't know if it's like a leaf. But uh, thank you, Obi. This is my free gift. I'm very excited. Always love free gifts, of course. And now I will show you what I got uh, of Valencia. Um, admittedly, oh my gosh, I was hoping the person who... Uh, okay, I got a lot of that. It's not that much, admittedly, but it is enough, uh, hopefully, to make something with it. And I got uh, 10 skins. <laughs> 10, but I want to uh, have that and send five to someone very special. So I don't know if the person who it is intended for will be watching. I'm not say, saying who it is for, but let me show you because I think this is beautiful. Wow, wow. And uh, I, I just love it. I love it so much. Okay, so when I saw it on the website, I thought of one person, and this is who I want to share this with. And 
I also want to experiment with it. So uh, it's uh, like um, a two purposes in one where I can use some and the person I'm sending it to can use some as well if they want to. So this is what I got. I love it so much. There we are. And I know this is uh, one of their favorite colors. Uh, there we are. Ten beautiful skins. Ten beautiful skins. Yes. Shall we get one out and talk about it and have a look a little bit closer? This is Malaga Glitter uh, because, you know, glitter is so nice in our lives, especially within our yarn community. Yes. So this yarn is, uh, it's actually World of Yarn, 88, no, sorry, 98% acrylic, 2% polyester, and I think this is the glitter part. And it suggests here five millimeter needles or five to six millimeter crochet hook. So I think, oh, I don't know if it is like a number four or even a five. It feels a bit thick for a number four. But since it says it's a five millimeter uh, needles, then it's got to be a number four weight yarn. Yes. And the color is number 08, is it 08 or 06? I think it's 06, like a, a dark, a blue type of color. And here it is, very, very glittery. Malaga glitter. Can you see the glitter? Honestly, this is beautiful. And it looks lighter on the camera. It's supposed to be like darker. And this reminds me of you don't see that nowadays here but i used to once upon a time look at the stars in the sky at night and this is what this reminds me of the glitter remind me of the stars and that reminds me of the night sky do you see and if you see all the skins together, I think the dark blue comes out a little bit more. I don't know. But this is one of those beautiful yarns and it feels really, uh, it's not extra soft exactly. And I wonder if this is because of the glitter, but it looks amazing. So, uh, uh, yes, you will know in due course who half of these skins will go to. I wonder if the person it, the, themselves will guess or will be thinking, oh, this is for me, I just know it. Yeah. We are onto the very last bag, which is a very special hobby bag. Very, very special. I was in a live uh, video chat and just not in the actual video, but I was not in the video myself, but I was in the chat a bit and uh, Ingrid was there and we kind of discussed a hobby and that Ingrid, hi, hi Ingrid, yeah, 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 I can't talk, hello lovely Ingrid, uh, I hope this is not a spoiler alert for you, but you know, this, this is what I have bought, and so anyhow, uh, Ingrid said that she couldn't really get any hobby in South Africa, now, we don't really know why that is, but you know, uh, Things have changed during the last couple of years, especially with, you know, postage situation as to who can send what where and who cannot send what where and, and whatever. And it's just different, you know, laws everywhere. This is just how it is. Different requirements, different prohibitions, different restrictions different whatever 
And so we just have to deal with that or, or not. And, and I said to Ingrid, she didn't ask. I, I volunteered. I said, don't worry. Uh, because if you can't get a hobby, we will get a hobby to you. So you uh, send me an email and tell me what kind of yarns interest you in hobby. And I want to surprise you and get you some. Now, of course, I did not promise to get everything, but uh, hopefully I will have gotten uh, her some that she really wants. And some she mentioned, but she didn't say what colors, but I think the colors I chose were uh, are some colors that will interest her. I hope so, Ingrid. I really hope you will enjoy what's in there. So. 95% of what's in the bag is for Ingrid. <laughs> and of course, I couldn't go uh, to Hobby and not get myself something. I decided, well, I may as well get myself something as well. So I got myself two things. <laughs> and I will show you that now. So are uh, you ready to take a look? I think I will put all, everything on the table that's in front of me and then I will discuss what I have chosen for wonderful Ingrid and then you can tell me what you think and uh, Ingrid if you're watching uh, uh, I don't know what to say I got a big box and uh, I will put those in there and hopefully there will be enough space to add a few little extras and um, yeah, I want to try and surprise you with something that, uh, yeah, anyhow, it doesn't matter. I'm procrastinating. Shall we look into it? Okay, so let's take a look at the yarns, shall we? So the first thing I want to say is uh, there was a candy in a bag. And, of course, I just love the candies from Hobi. It's just beautiful and so delicious. And I ate it without thinking. And only then, when it was in my mouth, did I think, oh no, I should have kept it to send to Ingrid. Because I can get that anytime I want. So I really feel bad. I'm so sorry. And I promise that uh, next time I go to Hobby, I don't know when, but next time I do, I promise that I will keep that candy aside for you and I will send it to you because wouldn't it be nice for you to experiment what a hobby candy is like? Yes, I think so. Okay, and then uh, I also got some free stitch markers. Thank you, hobby. Very nice. I always like hobby stitch markers. And this, this kind of stitch markers tells you the size of uh, uh, knitting needles or crochet hook you're using for your um, uh, project. So I will show you. There we go. And the selfish side of me is saying, well, keep them. You can never have enough of stitch markers. But then I'm thinking, no. I want to give this uh, hobby experience to Ingrid. And uh, that's why I feel guilty about the little candy, you know. So I will put that in a package for you, Ingrid. And uh, also, I will include the hobby bag. <laughs> It wouldn't be a hobby experience without the actual hobby things, with it? So uh, I'm going to package everything that came from hobby that is intended for you in there. So the bag, the, the yarn will go in the bag and as well as the stitch markers. And uh, yeah, now there are two things I'm keeping for myself, but the rest is all for you. Okay, <laughs> so the yarns that uh, I'm going to show you now were all mentioned by Ingrid, but uh, I think she chose the color for maybe two, uh, two or three different type of yarns. 
but the other she said she didn't feel very comfortable telling me what colors to get so I think I got the right colors for you in grid <laughs> at least I'm hoping I'm really hoping so uh, and I know that Ingrid really loves uh, cotton and she has mentioned that these were specifically in, um, uh, in on offer at the time as well as some other yarn and I thought well let's get a multiple number here shall we so I got some um, what is it called I got some uh, Hobie cotton and uh, she did write to me I think the name of the cotton is rainbow or something and uh, the specifications were 8 over 4 or something like that I'm not really used to shopping in um, a hobby <laughs> I have shopped there maybe three three times or four times and I'm not really familiar with it just yet but okay so a uh, specification is that this is 100% um, cotton and it is a rainbow 8 over 4. I don't know what that means. I don't know. Um, it is quite fine and it is 50 grams per skin. It says here 170 meters or 186 yards per little uh, skin or little ball or whatever you call it and you have to use uh, between 2 and 2.5 millimeter and 3.5 millimeter needles and crochet hook so it is quite fine and it is made in Denmark now the colors I chose because I chose two but I think it would work really nicely together so uh, and actually this yarn is made in India okay designed in Denmark but made in, made in India yes okay the color is number 44 it is like a, a a light uh, like a pink candy floss if you like so I will show you I got five of those hey, great I hope you like it <laughs> five of those beautiful things so that's like 250 grams there we are and this is the yarn uh, I hope you can see uh, yes like that and then I wanted to get another one that complements that pink so I got another pink because I know Ingrid loves pink and this is the color that I chose it is like a darker pink there and I thought it would go nicely with that kind of pink if if you want to make something with both colors of course i think it is quite nice to uh, have the yarn that match and i am sorry i'm dropping it all over the place so uh, i want to try and show it all together but honestly i am all fingers and thumbs so i will try no, I am not succeeding, succeeding at all. Too much, too much. Okay, there. <laughs> I've done my best, honestly. There. It is a beautiful pink heaven right here. And uh, Ingrid, uh, what do you think so far? Is that okay? Ten little balls with two different colors. And I think you can make something uh, quite nice with the, that amount, do you think? Let me know. Okay, so the next yarn I am going to show you is something that she has uh, chosen herself and the colorway too. She said uh, she would really like some of that yarn, which is Carnival. 
And she said, more specifically, I think it was color number two or something. Let me see. No, color 14, which I don't know what that is. Color 14, and so I went to look for it specifically, and I found it, and I can see why it's beautiful uh, colors. So this is Carnival Hobby, and the specific, it feels really nice. It feels so soft. The specifications are 100 gram per skin, uh, which is uh, 240 meters or 262 yards. And uh, needle size is a four or four and a half millimeter. Crochet hook size also. So I would suggest this, this is a DK. Designed in Denmark and made with love in Turkey, of course. So I... Uh, I decided that this yarn was so beautiful that I got her, I got you, sorry, I, I don't know how I want to say Ingrid as in third person or just to talk to you directly, I don't know, but anyway, so I got Ingrid five of those beautiful ones and here it is. Carnival, look at the color, so beautiful. And it feels really nice. And I'm hoping that with five of those, it will be enough to make something with it. I'm, I mean, I'm really hoping so. And uh, some of the colors really pop out uh, um, because it depends how the yarn is spun. But look at this. Look at these colors. Honestly, just so beautiful. And I got five. Is it enough in grid? Please don't say no. <laughs> I mean, I'll be happy to get you some more. You just let me know and uh, I'll show you the yarn together. Look, look, look. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. I absolutely love it. And I've just undone my knot. From my shirt but yes this is beautiful I kind of wish I got myself some now and really love to get some maybe sometime soon I might order myself some and then I will get the candy for you <laughs> so I will put that in the bag now and then I have a few more things to show you Okay, the next one I want to show you is uh, something that Ingrid has chosen herself and it is a Dahlia and I think this is the number two that I was mentioning earlier. Uh, the color number two. Is it? Is it? Yes, it is. This is the color number two. This is her colorway of choice and of course I just had to get it. It's completely you, Ingrid, and I hope you will enjoy it. It is Dahlia, and uh, what else can we say about this yarn? It is 100% cotton, 200 grams, and each thing has 800 meters or 874 yards. And you are going to use a 2.5 or 3.5 millimeter needle, and also for crochet hook, Crochet hook they suggest 3.5 and 4 millimeters. Designed in Denmark, made with love in India. And it is absolutely beautiful. I can see why you wanted to choose that. And I didn't touch it too much because it's not for me. But it's beautiful. Here it is. Can you see why? It is very ingrained. It's a lot of pinks light pink going to darker pink and then the outside is like a, like a, a, a gray purplish color can you see it is beautiful and uh, dahlia dahlia 
then yes, it's beautiful, beautiful. And so, uh, last thing for Ingrid. She also mentioned that she loves cotton cakes. So I know this is technically a cotton cake, but this is one that she chose specifically. And now I chose a different cotton cake because I looked at them and I chose one that I think reflects on, on her colors, on your colors. I don't know who I'm talking to here. Uh, um, <laughs> I don't know whether to address Ingrid as a third person or you directly. I don't know. It depends if Ingrid is watching as well. But uh, so these are Cotton King's Sultan. Beautiful, honestly. And uh, let me discuss the specifications. Uh, 200, 200 grams each or uh, 800 meters or 874 yards. And also two and a half millimeter to three and a half millimeter needles, three and a half or four millimeters uh, crochet hook sizes. So it's a little bit thinner than uh, a DK, I would say. Um, but it is beautiful, and the color I chose is color 34. And again, I really think it is perfect for, uh, you know, Ingrid. So here it is. From light to a little bit darker pink. So I am really excited and hope that Ingrid will like that. This is Cotton Kings. Cotton Kings. Sultan. Sultan. So now, this is it. I finished my shopping for Ingrid. This is the package for you. And I will add this like that in the box. And I will add a few extras. And um, then I decided to get myself some as well. And they are cotton cane cakes as well. And the first one I got... <laughs> Is color 40, is it 48 or 46? 48, yes, yes, yes. And it's also to do with uh, pinks, but uh, I'll show you. Isn't this beautiful? Yes, beautiful. I absolutely, absolutely love it. And the next one is another ray of sunshine for me. As soon as I saw it, I went, oh, I must have that. Yes, because it's like there's sunshine in there and my favorite color. What is that to not like? So this is color number. Where do they put these color things? A uh, color number and I lost it. 39. And oh my gosh, look at this, it's beautiful. There it is, yes. Beautiful sunshine and red. Well, what's there to not like here? This really brings a big smile to me, just like the other yellow. And um, I really, really like vibrant, um, warm colors and uh, it, it just never fails to bring smiles and joy in my heart and I, I just love it, I love it so much. So yes, I don't know what I will make with this but I will make something with that eventually <laughs> because I have so many things on the go right now. So uh, that's it really, uh, out of this whole bag. I have two beautiful cakes, yay! <laughs> and uh, the rest uh, is of that particular bag is for you, Ingrid. I hope you like my choices and um, I will send the package and I will give you the tracking number as soon as I have it because 
it's still here <laughs> I'm sorry but I will send it very soon because I know it takes a long time to get to you and I don't want to make you wait too long um, so I need, I need to send it and that is why I'm doing the video today yeah to make me hurry up with it <laughs> okay so that was an amazing yarn haul video wasn't it um, I wish I could show you more but I think this is enough for today and so uh, there we are I've had a ball I've had a lot of fun I hope you have too and who knows maybe you are inspired to go to one of the websites that I have talked about whether it was Hobbycraft, War Warehouse, uh, there's one store you can't get to because it's an in-person one, boys, you can't go to that one, but you can go to Hobby, uh, hopefully. Uh, where else have I mentioned uh, um, Hobby, Hobbycraft and Hobby and War Warehouse, that's it. Yes, I think that's it. Um, okay, so well, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this. It's quite a long video, isn't it? Wow, I think it's close to an hour. Was it? Yeah, just under an hour. So, wow, if you've stuck that long, thank you very, very much. And, uh, and so, but thank you very much. I'm repeating myself. It's annoying, I realize. So I'm going to close now and thank you everyone for watching Ingrid I hope you like that very much this will be on its way to you very very soon I promise so thank you again everyone and until the next time happy knitting and crochet <laughs>